Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for Super Flat Presents. Lone Survivor, a Jasper Brin game. So this is a cool horror game on Steam, and as you notice, I've got a webcam up and running. This is some pretty awesome stuff. Obviously, you know, without a webcam, it's pretty hard to gauge and enjoy the players' reactions and scared faces and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right in and play us some scary, scary games. Been waiting to do this for a while. Had to get this webcam up, though. Alright, let's see here. Erase current game, yes. I just booted it up trying to check up settings and stuff like that. Before you start, the ritual is strongly advised. Firstly, for maximum immersion, ensure you are in a dark environment with no interruptions. Check. Secondly, audio is an important part of the experience, so be sure to use headphones or speakers turned on loud. Double check. Finally, see what you need to see. Brightness is all the way up. X and let's start up this horror adventure. One more thing, please pick the phrase which best describes you as a player. Note that this ending cannot be changed once chosen. I'm new to this and I'm scared, we'll say. Normal mode selected. I've got a mask on and I seem pretty weary. My name is... Not important anymore, I guess. Used to know how long I'd been here. Now I've got no idea. Been a while since the outbreak started, that much I know. Hold up with the sound of those things outside. Monsters, guess you'd call them. As far as I know, I'm the only one left. The lone survivor. Can't go on much longer, though. Almost out of supplies. And if there's anyone else alive out there, I need to find them. And take their stuff. <laughs> if nothing else, I don't want to die alone. You never want to die alone. Or go full retard. <laughs> Pro tip. Okay, we got me kind of chilling out. Looks like I got a backpack. I can look forward, move side to side, kind of turn my back to me. I'm going to go hide over here in the corner. And this is the whole game, guys. You just tap your foot in the corner. Dun, 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 dun. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? X to interact. We got a couch. I don't want to sit down right now. Okay. Look at the cup of coffee. It looks like a double espresso. And there's some guy with a box on his head over there. Are we gonna drink this coffee? Yeah, why not? I'll drink the coffee. It must be there for me. Or it's that guy's coffee. We just stole his coffee. That sucks. Oh! Psychedelic coffee. Freaking out. I think I can hear something down here. I'm scared. Let's go play the foot tap game, guys. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Alright. Oh, I don't like what I'm hearing. Oh, we got scratches. Oh, it's getting louder. Oh, no. Oh, what do we got? Oh, lights went out. What's going on? Ah! Oh no! It's intimidating. Kind of. Definitely scary looking, but it's pixel art. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of hard to be truly terrified of pixel art. Damn. It's one of those things. I don't think you can see me. Wait. Looks like there's a hiding spot just behind it. I'll see if I can sneak past. Let's do that. X to hide. Move while hidden. How does he not see me? I'm just curious. 
Is he not allowed to look to the right? <laughs> Just kind of shimmy along the wall there. Exit. Oh, let's look at these curtains. What do we got? I might as well go through. That is going to be my voice the entire playthrough. Oh, we got, we got like the girl from the ring standing over here. The hair all over her face. Let's talk to her. Uh, hey there. Person with hair over your face. How's it going? Uh, hey. Person. What are you doing? Are you okay? You're staring off into space. Oh no, her back's to me, okay. What's that you're holding? It's probably a doll of some sort, I'm guessing. Oh. Oh, shit. And she's gone. It's a tie. I got some kind of pocket flashlight. Uh, okay, it's a pocket flashlight. Apparently I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Let's try switching it on. Oh, there was somebody there in the shadows watching us. It's kind of creepy. Who knows what they were doing in the shadows. Let's not dwell on it. Damn my head. Got a pounding headache. Damn night terrors. No better than the days. Well, good morning, flashlight, old friend. It's time to face the outside world. Okay, so that was a flashlight. It's just like a clip-on. Kind of makes it look like a tie or whatever. Oh, we got the green pill. I got some kind of green medicine. Can't forget to keep that voice up. Use bed. I feel like I've had a past life. And if I sleep, I'll forget about it. No, I'll sleep later. Whether I sleep or not, it'll all be lost. Use radio. Let's see if I can get anything. We're the survivors. <laughs> Praying for... <laughs> in 203. <laughs> That's all I could get. Hmm. I wonder if I should head for 203 first. Maybe there's someone alive in there. I don't know. It's possible. Get us a teammate or something. Read diary. <clears throat> Read the diary. Let's have a look. Nothing exciting happened today. Tried to eat an insect I caught, but it's no use. Since it's just me now, I gotta get out of here. I need to find a weapon and something long range. Those sons of bitches are too dangerous up close. And I don't want their nasty disease getting on me. Then maybe I can get me something to eat. Oh, I remembered where I put their key. It's on the sofa in the living room. I don't know where the key for their bedroom is, though. That's the latest entry. <laughs> Look at cupboard. There's something written on the door in the faint, in faint chalk. Read it. Okay, let's see. All right, so we got movement, interact, seize weapon mode, and space is open inventory. Pretty straightforward. F is flashlight. R is reload and M is, or M and or enter is the map. A S is your gamma, W Q is aspect ratio, E expert mode, pause, ignite flare, and other cool stuff. All right, moving on. Use fire escape. Ah, oh, it's locked. I need a key to open it. All right, so let's go ahead into the next room. Let's pick up this battery here. I got the battery. <laughs> Look at painting. It's faded. Been there a long time, I guess. Alright. Uh, there's a light. No, that's a door. Alright. Look at coat. I don't know whose it is. Look at shoes. These are mine. What are you doing with shoes that aren't yours? Dusty mirror, look deeply into it. I don't see anything special. Wait. It feels like it's trying to draw me into some other place. 
but it doesn't know where it wants that to be. So this will be important later, I guess. It's locked. I need a key to open it. <laughs> Nail that every time. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Pick up front door key. I got the key to 206. So that's where I left it. Use couch. I'll sit down if I have a good enough reason to. I don't right now, because I'm a bad ass. Look at fridge. Wait, what's that smell? Even with my mask on, it's making me dizzy. Take what's inside. Let's see what it is. I can hardly better touch this. It's piles of rotting meat. I'll take six pieces of meat for now. It's the most I can handle. More than that is just too gross. <laughs> Use stove. My stove. Don't remember it happening, but it's run out of gas. I'll have to find some more. Look at washing machine. Hmm. There's some kind of cat plush on here. Might as well take it. Had it since I was five. It was very important to me. <laughs> Pick up piece of paper. I got some kind of diary page. Alright, let's go ahead and go out the room. Uh, and there's the front door. I used the key to 206. I'll get rid of it now. Cause I'll never know if I need to lock the door or not. I should probably get some sleep before I go out there. I don't want to forget what I'm doing. Alright, so... How do we pull up the inventory again? It's not gamma or aspect ratio. Enter space, there it is. Flashlight, cat plush, battery. Let's heck it. Heck it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take the green pill, why not? Uh, well, I don't know what that did to me. I feel a little drowsy, though. I guess I'll find out. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to bed. Sleep now. I'll have a snooze. You can't protect me in my sleep. Okay. It's kind of weird. And everything fades to white. Or brightens to white. Ooh. Dude with a cardboard box on his head and a tie standing. Talk to the man who wears a box. Why are you here and wearing a box? Man who wears a box. That's a very good question. I'll leave that for you to... Oh, I'll leave that for you to figure out. <laughs> Add a laugh. Why not? Great. Day two. I needed that. Game saved. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here, guys, for part one. Go ahead and give this video a like if you did indeed like it. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for me. And subscribe if you haven't yet and if you'd like to see more content. If you want to see other content that I don't have up, of course, let me know about it. I'm always happy to look into other projects and stuff like that. So once again, thank you guys for watching Lair of the Overmind, and I will see you all next time for part two.